Yeah, oh man! And welcome to a quick frick. Today we have some breaking news. The Batman has returned with a vengeance, and this time he brought a new friend, or rather, a new enemy. That's right, Dr. Squatch continues to show no remorse for your bank account, as they've just dropped their latest collab. So today, we'll take a first look at what to expect. Now this is a duo featuring a Batman-themed soap and a Joker-themed soap. However, the Batman one is not the Batman brick from a couple years back. Instead, it seems to be something new. In fact, this collab seems to be based on the comic books rather than the Batman movie with Robert Pattinson. So this is the Dark Knight Scrub. It is a medium grit with pumice and moonflower oil. Ingredients we've seen before in the Moon Rock. This one's got a longer list of ingredients than most, but it's mainly just them listing the oxides, colorants, and the like. So there's that. As for the scent, I couldn't find the scent side of the box on the website. They make it rather annoying to find. However, it is described as having woody notes of cedar, moss, and tonka. And in another description, it's described as having powerful notes of smoked woods and moss. So it sounds like a mostly woodsy, mossy scent. It sounds kind of interesting. I don't recall Squatch ever using Tonka Bean before. But the real draw here is the Clown Prince Rents, the Joker Boy. Ever since the Riddler Enigma, people have been asking for a Joker counterpart. And it's finally here. Now the Clown Prince Rents is a zero grit and will feature wild plum oil as a unique ingredient, which I believe we've seen before in the Black Hole, so another Galaxy Boy. This one seems to have a little more creativity to it, being described as featuring delightful notes of blood orange and black cherry, before evolving into seductive scents of sandalwood and amber. It's also described as having playful scents of blood orange and sandalwood. Now the scent on the box is called Twisted Grape. To me, grape sounds very nifty. That would definitely be a unique scent. I don't think I've ever seen a grape bar before, so I think that would be an interesting choice for the Joker. In any case, this sounds like a mostly fruity bar, which I'm personally always on board for. Now the bricks are available as a duo for purchase now. I don't think they are sold individually. However, you can nab them separately in the subscription, which is how I'd recommend buying from Squatch anyway, as it saves some cash and you can easily cancel it afterwards. Personally, I'm intrigued by the Clown Prince rents. That sounds like it could actually be a really nifty bar. The Dark Knight Scrub, on the other hand, kind of seems like a filler brick. Does it really sound that interesting, and I can't imagine it's going to be better than the Batman brick was. I would have preferred them to just drop the Joker as its own thing, like they did with the Wolverine bar, especially since the new Joker movie was just released. In any case, I have nabbed these, and I'll try to have a review out for them when I can, although it might not be until after Halloween, as I have a lot of spooky bars to get to. I will, though, have the Flamin' Hot Brick and Drunken Pumpkin guides out sometime around this weekend. But that's going to do it for today, mains. Let me know what you think of this new collab, and if you'll be nabbing either of these bricks. Until next time, stay nifty. Yeah, oh man!